This is Cerebral Cinema. Movies of the Mind. adventure thriller, Temple of Vampires. at night, high on the ledge above the floor of the Temple of Vampires, somewhere in the jungles of Central America. While Reggie stands guard over Hermie and the vampire priestess Angelina in a monk cell on a ledge 50 feet above the temple floor, Jack and Doc swung to the ledge across the room in search of the girl Sunny. In their search, they walked into a trap set for them by the vampire priest Manuel. The pair, with a bit of strategy, overpowered Manuel, tied him up, and released Sonny. But when the girl found the only way to get off the ledge was to swing out 50 feet up in the air on a rope to the other ledge, she became hysterical with fear and lost consciousness. It was while they were figuring how to carry the unconscious Sonny across to the other ledge that Jack discovered the real vampires were loose. Real vampire bats as large as men, bloated and grisly, with a vicious sort of rapaciousness. I heard noises back in Pancake's way, but they haven't caught us since yet. Well, Mike got Sonny, so it's up to you. The job right down my alley. A forty-five in each hand and just waiting for a chance to use it. We must be almost out on the ledge. Well, watch it, Jack. Yeah. If you go walking off that ledge, it's sunny in your arms. It's 50 feet straight down. I'm feeling my way. Yeah, here we are. Doc, you got the flashlight? Uh, yeah. Y- you want it? Flash it around. Find out where we fastened the rope. Huh? Well, there she is. Down yonder, a little to your left. Uh-huh. Now then, I'll put Sonny down for a minute. Don't forget we fastened the rope up out of reach. Yeah. Come on, step in my hand and go up after it. Okay. Uh-huh. Hold it. You got it? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Now fasten it on the lower hook where I can reach it. Okay. Ooh, wee. Boy, I don't blame Sonny for not liking high places. Well, never mind that, Doc. Help me. Uh, do what? I'm going to take Sonny across on my back. Unconscious body's kind of awkward. Th- th- think we can do it? Yeah. Lift her up on my back. Uh-huh. Uh, here she comes. Now hold her up while I get hold of her legs. Jack. How's that? All right. Now back against the wall and hold her in place. Now come around in front. Good as done. I've got her legs around my waist. Now tie them together. Now here's a piece of rope. Oh, yeah, I get the idea. We'll do a good job of tying. If she starts to slip going over, there'll be nothing I can do. Yeah. Ah. <clears throat> hey, that'll hold. Now tie her around, around my neck. Uh-huh. Jack, she's, uh, she's going to be a load. Hey, hey, listen. Uh, what is it? Keep feeling, and I hear shuffling noises all about me. Shuffling? Well, not exactly. Uh, more like little sucking noises. You know what? Uh... Oh, that's great. Well, fella, uh, how are we going to work this now? Well, I'll take Sonny over on this rope. You take the rope down the ledge further. Okay? Sure. All right, before I jump, go down and see if your rope's all right. <laughs> Good idea. Flapping the wings as he went over. What was it? What happened? Well, just one of them big he bats are sitting there on the ledge, making sucking noises at me. The rod right on the ledge? Well, that was one. I let him have it, and he high dived off the ledge. It's time we were getting out of here. 
Is your rope all right? All right, it's ring. All right, then let's go. And remember to hang on to that rope like you never hung on before. You're carrying double. Uh-huh. There. I'll get a good grip with my knees. How's that? All right. Now, don't waste any time, Doc. The minute I hop off, you go down and take off on your rope. You think I won't? Well, here I go. Look, Jack. Uh, here. Be seeing you. Man, that's like high diving in space. Well, come on, Doc, my lad. We're next. Get my rope down. There. Hey, what's that? Look out! Hey! Hey, Jack! I hope the matter with Sunny. Just fainted. Come on, get her untied and off my back. You brought her across on that rope? Made it all right. Here, unfasten her feet. Well, just, just a minute. Everything been all right over here? It's as good as gold. Hermes is still asleep. Angelina unhappy, but behaving herself. There. There's Sonny's feet. Now untie her hands around my neck. Yeah. Not getting it. What made her faint? Fright of having to swing across. Oh. Did you have a bad time of it? Where's Doc? He'll be here in a minute. Swinging over on another rope. Uh, there she is. All right. Lift her down off my back. Quite. Oh, there, I got her. Oh. Put her on that stone bench alongside of Hermie. Mm. There she is. She'll be all right. What's the matter, Jack? Well, hello. You awake, Hermie? I guess so. Now you better go back to sleep. Who's lying here beside me? Sonny. Sonny? But, Jack, I haven't got any clothes on. I don't want Sonny to see me. <laughs> well, you've got a loincloth. That'll have to do you until morning. Besides, it's dark. Why doesn't she say something? Sonny? Well, she, uh, she's asleep. She'll, she'll wake up pretty soon. Well, I hope she don't until I get my clothes back. Well, that seems to bother you a lot, youngster. Yeah, sure it does. Well, I don't feel right without clothes. Well, you go back to sleep. We'll take care of you in the morning. I ain't sleepy now. We'll try. Okay. Jack, hmm? isn't it queer Doc hasn't come? I uh, no. I wonder if he's up to something. Mm. Uh, you know Doc. Crazy idiot. I told him to follow me right over. Well, you don't... I don't suppose anything's gone wrong. Why well, don't see how it could? The bats were loose over there, but they couldn't get at him on the ledge. He has my flashlight and gun. It seems kind of queer, though. Well, let's get out of this priest's cell. Out on the ledge? Yeah. Hey, can I go too? Hermie, you were going to sleep. Oh, gee whiz. Anyway, you stay right where you are. You've got enough trouble without you falling off the ledge. Okay, fella. Come on, Reggie. Not a sign of him. No. I wonder if I shouldn't go back over. Are those blood-sucking rodents loose? Bats aren't rodents. Well, they are for my money. Anyway, these big things don't look like any rodents I ever saw. Couldn't we call across to him? Well, not at this distance. Echo just makes a din. Uh, I guess I'd better go. How about letting me go over? No, I've got the hang of the thing. Besides, I know the layout over there. Doc's just stalling over there. I'll wring his neck. And once for me. Well, here I go. Good luck. Uh, Oh, Reggie. Yes, Jack. Keep a close guard on the door of the monk's cell. I'll be watching. All right. So long. Here goes. Oh. Wait, sir. <laughs> well, what's that? Doc, Doc, is that you? Jack. What's happened here? Fella, it's like we met out here in midair. Our ropes are all tangled together. Yeah. Well, what you doing out here? I was just going back across to find you. Well, here I am. I'm here swinging 50 feet from the floor. Anyway, that far from the ceiling. You think that's funny? I don't think it's one blame bit funny. Hey, hey, well, we're spinning. Our, our ropes are coming untangled. Look, hang on to each other's ropes. Let's keep together for a minute. Yeah. What happened, Doc? We shouldn't have met out here. Our ropes are 10 or 15 feet apart. Yeah, I know. I, I was swinging in a circle. That's a big help. I couldn't help it, Jack. Just as I got a hold of my rope, something pushed me off the ledge. Pushed you off? Yeah, a minute sooner, and I wouldn't have had the rope in my hands. You didn't see what did it? No. Anyway, I went off the ledge sideways, and that threw me in a circle. I never even come close to our ledge. Well, we're in one swell pickle. You're telling me. Then when you come along, our ropes crossed, and here we are. Well, we can't hang here all night, that's certain. What if we could? Daylight wouldn't hit none. Except show us how far it is to the floor. That's great. And down in this part of the country, I don't imagine they got any firemen with nets to jump into. Look, Doc. Yeah? 
You think you can climb your rope? Climb 50, 60 feet on this rope? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Can you? I can try. And when we've climbed it, what then? Maybe we can climb over rafters or something. Get down. Uh-huh. You think so? Whoever put these ropes up in the first place had to get up there to fasten them. Well, the longer we just hang here, the tired we're going to be. All right. Let's swing apart then and start climbing. Okay. <laughs> man, oh man. What's the matter? I was just thinking. We're swinging from the end of a rope. But I didn't... I wouldn't say we were hung yet. All right. Cut loose. Okay. Every man for himself. Here it goes. Good luck, Jack. Oh, stop. Yeah? Don't try to do much climbing while the rope swings. Take your breath, Ellen. And climb. Yes, I know, honey. But Jack told you to go to sleep. I've been trying, Reggie. on <laughs> Just can't make it, eh? I guess it's on account I haven't got any clothes. Well, you got all the clothes the Indians wear. I guess I wouldn't make a very good Indian. You'd get used to it in time. Where'd Jack go? He went back across to the other ledge to look for Doc. This is a hard place to keep folks together, ain't it? Well, it certainly is. Is Sonny still asleep? Still sleeping. I guess the vampire lady is asleep, too. Mm, at least pretending. Oh, it's sure dark in here, ain't it, Reggie? It is that. I keep stumbling. The only way I can keep track of all of you is to make the rounds and touch them. You want to look out when you touch the vampire lady. Oh, is that so? Yeah, she bites. <laughs> they are funny people down here, don't they? They do that. Aren't you just a little sorry now? You stood away in our plane and came along? No, I like you, fella. Well, that's nice of you. Say so? Yeah. I guess I like Sonny best of all. Ladies, man, are you? I'm going to stick to Sonny all the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. Well, have you mentioned it to her? Yeah, but I ain't got anyone else. Well, what about your father? Oh, he didn't want me. He said I was just one more thing he had to look after. I'm not much of a father. I like you fellas a lot better. Do you? Hmm. Huh. I wonder what's keeping Jack and Doc. I guess you don't have to worry. No? Nah, there ain't nothing they can't do. No, oh, I don't know. We're running up against things this trip we've never experienced before. Listen. Did did you hear anything? No. Did you? Something just made my back hair stand up on end. Did what? Listen, listen. I must be nervous. I uh, I think I'll step out to the door of the cell and have a look about. Don't go very far. No, just to the door. Yeah. Everything seems to be all right. Oh, look at it. Let me see where you are. I've got a sight on my hand. Adventures of Jack, Doc, and Reggie will come to you at this same hour. I Love a Mystery, written and directed by Carlton E. Morse, comes to you Monday through Friday, featuring Russell Thorson as Jack, Jim Bowles as Doc Long, and Tony Randall as Reggie York, with Mercedes McCambridge as Sonny, Louis Van Ruten as Manuel, and Sarah Fussell as Hermie. Mutual Broadcasting System.
Cerebral Cinema hopes you have enjoyed this movie of the mind.